Hi, uh, sometimes you're in a situation where you want to switch adapt a piece of equipment and that equipment is either rented, you don't own it directly, or it's um, expensive. Uh, and as such, you don't want to directly um, modify it electrically. Um, you don't want to do any permanent changes to it. Um, but you still have options for making it more accessible. Uh, one option that comes to mind is that you can um, put an overlay over, if it has a remote or any buttons, you can put an overlay over that and then control that overlay. Um, so this is an example of that and I uh, just want to show it off. Um, Alright, let's give it a go. So what we have here is just a normal adaptive switch um, with you know the headphone type jack at the end. So it could have been any adaptive switch, um, SIPA for anything uh, that would have anything would have worked. And it's uh, right now I have a setup with uh, three servos that will pivot to aim at the button I want to press and. Right now, it's I have it set up to toggle back and forth. So first, it'll do the up, and then on the next press, for as long as I hold it, it'll go. It'll press the back down button for this back. So, yeah, this uh, this is an option you should consider when you're in a situation where you don't want to directly modify the piece of equipment, but you still need to adapt it in some way. So um, this is an open-ended type of solution. It can work for different remotes, different equipment, and what you're using to control the adapter you're building can be can be anything that the user is capable of using. Uh, it's a useful bridge between lots of different things. Thanks for watching.